And welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2. Last time we made it to the end of the EGG installation. Off screen I did a fair amount of training and now Cielo and both Gale are uh, all set up for uh, the mantras that they need to. Uh, not obvious from Gale since I haven't set up his skills, but he's got a lot of tier 2 magic now. I did not get Hades mastered, but I'll get that done soon enough anyway, and I'd have rather unlock that mantra on screen anyway. I've also reorganized my karma rings, and I've got my characters kitted out for the upcoming boss fight. Uh, take uh, three guesses uh, what kind of fight we got coming up. Uh, I also set life bonus on everybody, just for a little bit of extra protection. Can never go wrong with 10% more HP, especially on Surf, who does not have much to work with. Unfortunately, off-screen, I was not able to finish off the Jack Frost quest because I have just been having horrible, horrible luck with that. But, as you can see, my money is really high. That is because I got an Omoikane encounter and I was able to kill off four of them, only failing to kill them all because I did not have anyone set with fire magic. Whoops. But that has set me ahead on money for a while, and that will allow me to get the mantras that I want to when I need them, so that's good. Uh, I'll need to be a little bit frugal just to make sure I don't overspend. Uh, also, because I did a Jack Frost quest, uh, I got one data to use here. Let's use that on Surf. All right. Now, uh, we've, we're going to have quite a few cutscenes in this video here, and uh, serious drama bombs ahead. This is a major turning point for the game. But before that, of course, we've got a boss fight for this area, and we've got one more treasure to grab, so let's go get that first. No sense in rushing into battle. Inside this chest, we get a great chakra. Very nice. Uh, even if I don't use it for anything, I could always just sell it. And once again, we've got these annoying human enemies who are just wasting my time. Luckily, I can just completely destroy them. Uh, notably, I've taken the Rage Ring off of Roland because I do not want him to enter the upcoming battle with a defense debuff in place. And yes, uh, I've already got Cielo in. Uh, if you do not have Cielo in your party for this fight, uh, he will be forced in. Now, you can use the deploy menu to just, uh, or the deploy command to just uh, set in someone else uh, who's actually ready for the battle. But I uh, decided uh, I actually want to use him for this because it is relevant to the story. There is a reason why he gets forced in, and that is very annoying. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not have access to Xan magic, but Dekunda might come in handy. Although, actually, uh, I'm going to want to set Taunt on Roland so that we can access Bakuja instead. That's uh, more important, I feel. All right. Hey, another level up. That's very good. Yeah, let me uh, get Taunt set up on Roland. Uh, I've also got them all set up, or uh, Roland and Cielo set up with Suku Kaja, as that will be very important for this fight, but let's see. Uh, I need Agi. Uh, I won't need Mute Blow for this fight. Uh, the upcoming boss is completely immune to physical attacks, so not worth bringing them. Alright, let's go in to the fight. What could be awaiting us here? And now that I think about it, it's been a while since we've seen the Trivana. I bet it's them, those uh, persistent fellows. alone this time? Where's your buddies? They're right here. Can't you tell? No, you... ate them? Humans must never be inferior to their own creations. I know my comrades would agree. Would you? You don't deserve to call them comrades. Tell me, what did you inherit by devouring them? Strength. I pity you. We've learned that strength is not everything. Cielo is far greater than you. <laughs> ah, he ate his own allies. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's that's horrible. That's uh, not how I expected this uh, comic relief mini boss squad to uh, meet their end. But yes, the seemingly stoic leader has gone cuckoo for cocoa puffs and has devoured his own ally. Now. He is Abaddon, and Abaddon is famously one of the most difficult bosses in this game. 
Uh, it starts off simple enough. Right now, he's weak to force magic, and the way I'm phrasing that, you might already know how this fight's gonna go. Now, we absolutely want to get Sukukaja up and running. Also, you want to make sure uh, you have multiple instances of Medea so that you can use Angelic Grace, because you want to be able to mitigate the damage this guy is gonna do to you. Alright, but yes, let's use Sukukaja, max out our agility. That will greatly increase the chance that we dodge his physical attacks, and yes, as you can see, he hits hard. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is just do another Zanma. Now, as you can see, uh, off screen, I did a field hunt and uh, allowed Roland to master Calm Spirit, so he has access to Media Rama. Might seem uh, silly to put that on one of our magically weakest characters, but the healing power of Media Rama is so great that even with Roland's low magic, it'll still more or less heal us to full. Plus, uh, it is just something that'll allow him to contribute more, because we're going to be including Gale in the lineup soon enough, and. Uh, the uh, physical power between the two of them might end up being redundant. Now I've got uh, Surf set up with all the corresponding boosts, but I do not have the same uh, in place for Roland and Cielo. And in fact, Roland does not have the tier 2 magic, just because I don't really feel it's as important. Now here's where the fight gets tricky. Gate to Abyss. Ooh, now that's unfortunate. Alright, and he bellows. And we want to pay attention to what he does here. Okay. Not sure what he did there. Alright, so, he has changed his properties, and now he is weak to a different element. Force will not affect him like it did before. He's either weak to Earth or Fire now, which, as you remember, were the weaknesses of his allies. Let's try Earth and see what it gets us. Yes, that is his weakness. Now, we want to start pelting him with the Earth magic, because after a few turns, he will spit Surf up and, uh drop him to 1 HP, hit us with a really nasty attack, and then, uh, or rather, he'll hit us with a nasty attack, spit Surf up at 1 HP, and then change his properties again. But, if we damage him enough before that happens, he'll spit Surf out without any damage done to him. And it looks like he's really losing his cool, but we did enough damage to get him to regurgitate Surf. So yeah, you want to be able to hit his weaknesses, and yeah, this is what makes this fight really tricky the first time you get to it. You're obviously not going to know what he's weak to, and he will always have the elemental magic to uh, hit a weakness of your characters whenever he's in the elemental phase. That actually does make Cielo pretty good for this fight, because, uh, of course, he is weak to ailments rather than any uh, regular elements, so typically this guy won't be able to strike his weakness. Let's use Mediorama there. Now we're going to Terrazi him a few times. Let's see. I'm very tempted to get a taunt in. Oh, hey! Actually, he's pretty close to dead. You know what? Let's uh, let's press the advantage. Let's just keep attacking him here. Yeah, as you can see, this fight's not too bad if you know what's coming. And if you get him to regurgitate, he will spend a couple turns just uh, wasting his action on his current phase, so you can really pile on the damage, but... We're actually going to get him before he even switches to his third phase. Very nice. This is a really notoriously tough fight if you don't know what's coming, but when you're prepared for it, as you can see, really easy. I'm actually surprised at how uh, well that went. Perhaps I over-prepared. Oh well. I think that's enough for now. Get out of my sight. How could I? Strength isn't the only way to be strong. Live life and remember your comrades. Gotta bear your own burden, your karma. And thus, the Trivana are no more, and we leave their leader to stew over what he has done and how it was ultimately meaningless. Now, uh, before we head forward, let's uh, get our party back in order. I'm not gonna mess around with my skills, uh, actually, rolling for a surf in the middle and Argilla. I'm not gonna mess around with my skills, uh, cause we don't actually need to chain them up for now. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it, Cielo. Don't let the things that were sacrificed be wasted. Hmm. wonder what that would be like. Hmm. 
Yeah, you raise a good point there, Roland. I guess it all ha depends on how you look at it. Oh, what do we got here? Cyber Shaman 19 and the virus experiment. And this is actually a little bit of exposition that you can potentially miss. I don't believe you have to talk to Argilla about this. Hmm. So, it looks like this is a post-mortem of the junkyard experiment, uh, particularly uh, after Sarah's involvement. Looks like they uh, suspected Angel right away of being involved with this, and, well, uh, we know all too well how she was involved. I guess they were satisfied enough with uh, what the project uh, re revealed to them, that they went ahead with demonization. Uh, I have a feeling they're... Uh, Thoughts on that have changed since this report was drafted. Interesting little bit of background on the end of the first game there. Yeah. Hmm. In a way, uh, the destruction of the junkyard is not all that different from how the Black Sun is affecting this world. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Now, let's take the last elevator of the EGG installation down to B30. And there are no more items to get, and, uh, well, y you'll see. Uh, we're about to rescue Sarah after searching for her for quite some time. Unfortunately, we could not uh, get heat, but at this point, uh, I think we can settle for springing Sarah, and perhaps at that point, heat will uh, rejoin us. One could hope, anyway. But beyond this door is the EGG itself, and hopefully Sarah. Let's get her! Just disarm that lock. Not sure why they really bother with the master key since you can't get past this point, get to this point without fighting a bat in any way. Sarah! This is the next choice that affects something later in the game. In order to get a special bonus, this is the first of two choices where we need to take the top option.
is operating on its own. That can't be. The system isn't even connected. Connection opened. It's transmitting from our side. Upload rate is 945.56 centipedes per second. That dwarfs even the incident five years ago. Leave them. Surf's in there! Surf is dead. He died so that we could live. to accept that emotions influence actions. The history of mankind ended long ago. How could he do that to our leader! We're comrades! Oh, what the hell? It wasn't supposed to be this way! Cielo. Do you know of a way to stop the data transmission? We only have until sunrise. Tear it out of the ground myself if I have to. That's not an option. God must be returned to normal. The only way to speak with God is the EGG. So what do we do? The power plant. Machines need energy, right? Even machines that mimic God. Surf is dead, and Heat, for good measure, took himself down with him, or so it seemed anyway. Not sure uh, how they could survive within the EGG fluids. Anyway, we are now in control of Gale, who has taken over as the acting leader of the Embryon. Let's uh, see how our comrades are doing. Cielo's taking it pretty hard. Can't imagine Fred is doing much better. Sarah practically seems catatonic. Now, as for what's happening, well, Sarah witnessed the action that he had committed while linked directly with God, and her emotions have angered God. Now God has activated the HARP uh, satellite link-up on Earth and has begun to digitize the entire planet and consume the data. Roland hatches a plan here. Perhaps we can blow the power plant for Karma City 
to stop the harp uplink. That's the only plan we can. I hope it works out. But yes, Surf is gone from the party, and now Gale is the leader. For right now, I am going to be using Gale, Cielo, and Roland, and that is because I want Cielo to finish off the Hades mantra, as well as begin working on ailment mantras, as we're going to want somebody who can nullify ailments coming in the near future. For right now, uh, I will have uh, probably Cielo work on the one that costs 25000 and I'll see, where I, uh, see what I want to do going forward there. I will bring Argilla back into the party once that is completed, but uh, we still got a little bit of ways to go before that is done. Now, our destination is the Power Plant Dome. However, there are a couple things we can do in other parts of the city. First, we want to head back to the underground city, give ourselves a chance to regroup after uh, what had happened. Now, we're going to need to reorganize our party, because our heaviest hitter, the magic expert Surf, he is MIA for, uh, for good. Hmm. And unfortunately, the uh, people of the city are not taking it very well, and that old man seems to not be cognizant of how much time there actually is left. Now, we're going to want to stop by Mad Mart and see how Kathy is doing. Hmm. She seems to have taken uh, what's transpiring pretty well. We just want to uh, liquidate our plants at this point. And, yep, we ranked up. Should be able to get some new rings. There will also be a new box. Like the Crimson box, the new box uh, has a ring it can give us, but it's much more expensive than the Crimson boxes, so I will not be uh, fishing for that at the moment. What we will want to do is buy uh, Karma rings to fill out our collection. We can finally get the High Power ring and the High Magic ring. I'll actually be making use of that high power ring in the near future, as I have saved my tiger's eye, specific my our tiger eyes, specifically for customizing it up to give better strength. And that'll be a lot safer than relying on the rage ring. The rage ring would boost our damage more overall, but uh, I prefer the safety afforded by the power ring when it's customized up. Hmm. Looks like uh Looks like the Lokapala, at least some of the Lokapala, have submitted to the temptation of the Atma virus and have decided to inje uh, infect themselves with it to eke out their final days, or final hours even, I suppose. We do not have much time to try and thwart the harp. Now, you may be asking, why am I heading towards the underwater cable? Well, I have no idea how you're supposed to know this. But after finishing off the EGG installation, there is in fact an item that is necessary for 100% completion that we can only get uh, the underwater cable. Uh, well, we will have a second chance to get it after the next dungeon. Uh, I don't know if it's available two dungeons from now, but just so I don't forget, we want to grab it now. We will find a few of uh, Ro the Lokapala still defending the underwater cable. We want to talk to this guy specifically. And he gives us the Calamity Ring. If you want to get all the rings in the game and the special bonus ring you can do for you get for doing so, you need to get this Calamity Ring right now. Uh, the window of opportunity for it, again, I don't know exactly when you're robbed of the chance to get it, but it's uh, better to get it now rather than later. And there is a hard cutoff point where we leave behind everything and we can't get it. But now we've officially entered the game's second half and... Yeah, what a way to shake up status quo. Kill off our main character and uh, leave us kind of in the wind. This is why I took the time to develop Gale and Cielo, because now it is not a matter of if I want to use them, we have to use them. Now that that's all taken care of, you can get quite a bit of dialogue from all the people in uh, Underground City about the impending doom, but uh, let's just uh, pass on that. It'll take too much time. Something to uh, look out for uh, if you're interested in playing this game yourself. Now, because we have an excess of money from defeating uh, Omoikanes, let's take the opportunity to buy an Impel Stone. I doubt I'll use it anytime soon, but may as well have one in my inventory just for the sake of it. Okay, yeah. What I want, as far as money goes, is by the end of this next dungeon, I still want to have 100,000 money left in reserve. Now, let's, uh... Enough beating around the bush. You can go to Sala Park, you can go to the urban area, but there's just simply nothing in those areas except people lamenting that the world is ending. So we may as well just get to the power plant dome. And a 
awaiting us are members of the uh, Locapala, including a deal. Hmm. Looks like we've got a uh, Karma Society soldiers waiting for us. And ah, uh, so it looks like uh, Angel has fully taken over, and the Karma Society is now under her stewardship. Looks like uh, yeah, the uh, execution we saw. Madam Cuvier was rather uh, disappointed with the turn of events, to say the least. And I guess uh, it's fortunate that Angel put her out of her misery. Alright, sounds good to me, deal. Now, before we head into the power plant, I do want to take time to set up my skills here. Let's see, uh, run the sunder down here. Uh, Argilla should still have uh, mutual karma, yes. So, uh, Gale has access to all uh, Tier 2 magic, so I'm actually going to want to set him up to be uh, our primary caster. And uh, I'll have to review my enemy list to see if we uh, need Zionga, but we will need it for uh, some boss fights, but for right now, uh, let's just focus on the things that we absolutely want. Let's see, I'll have uh, Terukaja on him, then let's get some uh, physical attacks on him. We'll go with, uh, doo -doo -doo. looks like he doesn't have Key Blast. We'll go with Vile Blade, and we will go with Body Rush, just for some combo options. Well, I'll actually uh, leave Cielo more or less as he is right now. Uh, one exception is that I will put Taru Kaja on him, over Taunt. And uh, Roland, let's get him set back up with Mute Blow and Key Blast. I do still want access to Sukukaja on him. And. Hmm. Might as well throw Atma bonus on him. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, we want to get Atma bonus on Cielo and Renda Sunder, because he will be doing a lot of hunting. I'll make some revisions to my skill set as we uh, progress through the next dungeon. But that should do us for now, just to make sure. New blow. New blow. And do we got Key Blast? Yes. Okay, let's go. More Locapala waiting for us in here. They had a bit of a scary image of the Cyber Shaman in their heads, but of course, as we can see, Sarah is just a catatonic young woman who is apparently even much younger than she actually looks. And Fred will uh, do us the uh, favor of watching over Sarah. Yep, looks like uh, things have uh, really <laughs> gone to heck in a handbasket. Okay. But now we are in the power plant. Now, this is a fairly special dungeon. Uh, once we enter it, we cannot leave, and because we are aiming to destroy it, uh, we will not be able to come back after it's done, so make sure you get all the treasure in here before you uh, hit the end of it. Roland uh, out there was saying, asking if the society has gone insane, because they are trying to thwart us here. Not only that, they are trying to uh, take the power away from the city, making things even harder for the people within it. Okay. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. And yes, you can back out to prepare, but there really isn't much for us to do at this point, so... Hey, Johnny! Serious business, I like it. Okay, well, we already sold off our uh, items to Kathy, but let's just see what he has to say. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Profound, profound. Uh, let's see, actually, uh... Do just want to do one little bit of shopping before uh, we head on in. Uh, we want to upgrade our ammo because gun skills uh, will actually be mildly important for an upcoming fight. So let's just buy. Oh, that's a uh, that's steep. I actually only want one iron shot, and uh, I'm going to pick. Oh hey, data. We want to take that luck data, but we don't want to use it right away. There's a very uh, particular reason why I want to hang on to it. Now, uh, this might surprise you who I'm going to be equipping that ammo on, but we are going to be giving that iron shot to Roland. 
Might seem a bit questionable because he has the weakest gun, but it'll become important for uh, later. Now in here, got a pink crystal if you want to customize up one of your rings for more magic. And at this point, we can start getting into encounters. Let's see, we got blobs here. Gotta get my enemy list out. That is my question list. And as you can see, these guys are annoying us and that is unfortunate. Uh, so there's a couple of combos up unlocked there. Uh, triple threat is going to be very important for a uh, enemy that we can run into in here. Crystal dust, I'm not going to use that at all. These guys are black ooze. Uh, I don't think they're on my enemy list actually. Huh. Well, uh, hmm. actually, I want to cure Cielo there. Then I can have him use the Spyglass. I must have never run into these guys in my uh, previous playthrough. Let's just Spyglass them, see what they got going on. Let's see, they are weak. Elect, Earth, and Expel. Alright, I can move with that. We just want to just focus on taking out some of these guys. Let's see. Ooh. Take out this one. Move. Not good enough. Well, at the very least, that allows me to get some hunting done for Cielo. But, yes, uh, Black Ooze is... Uh, I can't believe I didn't run into these guys. Well, let's just uh, soften them all up and uh, try to get Cielo a couple of kills here. Alright, devour this one. We'll just finish this one off and then we'll pass around to Cielo so he can hunt again. Ideally, he does not get a stomach ache here as he does not have Iron Stomach set. Hmm. Now that'll take a while. I may grind that up off screen, but for right now, uh, over in this room over here. So our first small terminal of the dungeon. Uh, this is, like the underwater cable, a dungeon without any large terminals. Since we can't leave it anyways, I guess it's irrelevant if we can teleport. And its layout would make it redundant anyway. Alright, so let's save our game here. And that is where we'll leave it. But when we come back, we will take on the power plant and hopefully shut down the harp. Until then, I hope you have a good day, and I hope to see you next time. And goodbye.